Hello and welcome, my friends. This is the, this is the podcast again. You know, I, we need to come up with a name for this. Please leave in the comments if you have a name that you think would be good for this comic y show thing that we do. Yeah. Um, we stuff. don't have a name. I mean, I, I, I've gone, I've thrown out Comic Cast in the past or VE Comics, but then I feel like we're not, we're not, one, Comic Cast has already been done, I'm pretty sure. Um, and two, like we did VE Comics or Basoki Comics or something like that. Then it sounds like we're a comic company and we're not. So, but. Anyway, here we are again. It's a dilemma. Brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, uh, uh, great aunts. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're here again to discuss uh, some some Endgame spoilerinos. So if you don't want to be spoiled, please leave the video now. Come back after you've seen the movie. You should have seen it by now. We're almost at two weeks. All right. Warn warning has been thrown down. Uh. So the first thing I like to say is uh, Black Widow dies in an Endgame. Just in case you decided to stay, um, now you're now you're ruined. All right. So and I'm gonna put up a picture of Black Widow right there too. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so yes. Uh, jokes aside, for those of you that did see the movie, you obviously know that. Uh, so we're curious. We had a. I, I, I was texting Charlie the other night, and I was like, "Hey man, what do you think?" And we've been talking about this ever since the movie came out. I was like, "What do you think?" the future post end game is of the MCU, like who is going to be leading it. Um, yeah. So, and you actually had a really uh, fair answer to that. I mean, based on what we've seen recently and what people have um, thought themselves, but uh, so who do you think it is, Charlie? Yeah. So uh, I definitely think the lead kind of your leader of your adventures now at this point, a leader of the MCU is Captain Marvel. I think, They've proven even in Endgame that she is probably the most powerful. And it, it almost feels like they're fall like they have this aspect of wanting to follow her. Like she's kind of this mystique almost, where you know maybe she'll be the one that helps them out, or she'll be the one that takes them the new directions. She'll be the one that they maybe trust with their next big boss that they gotta beat mm -hmm. after chopping off the big ugly mud's head. Yeah, true, bring me true. that off. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, he brought him, he got brought to him and it didn't work out. Revenge doesn't ever, uh, satisfy is what we learned in that scenario. But, um, anyway, so, I mean, I, it, the reason why I agree to it, uh, to some, uh, degree, wow, that was a weird statement, uh, English language. Thanks. Um, but the reason why I, I semi somewhat agree with you is because, um, for one, she's the first female solo film leading Marvel superhero. Haha, <laughs> beat it to you, beat you to a black widow. Um, and um, and I think it makes sense that if they would give somebody like that, like if you think about it, the first solo movie of the next kind of group of the MCU, whether you consider it to be part of phase three or not, is Captain Marvel. The first one that's going to play into all that stuff is that movie, whether it takes place in the 90s or not. Um, it's the first new solo movie, just like with Doctor Strange or Spider-Man or whatever coming out of other phases. Um and I could see her taking a leading role, especially since they gave her the honor of that. You know, they could have given that to Black Widow if they wanted to. They've been trying to do that for years, but for some reason, they felt compelled to do Captain Marvel. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's honestly, it's 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 a good direction, I would think. Yeah, and if they choose to go that way, I wouldn't I wouldn't have a problem with that. The only thing I will say is that I think the only reason they would not do that is nothing to do with um like in the movies themselves or even audience reaction to them on the whole it has more to do with what she said in her personal life i think they might pull her back from the leadership role because of that and i think someone like benedict cumberbatch who is a no well-known actor been a part of many very big franchises including like sherlock and uh, i have to pick probably pick a big franchise in britain he probably was involved in some way um, but he was in star trek he was he, he almost was in Star Wars. He said he was like almost in Star Wars or something like that. Um, so I mean, you know, so he's been all over the place, and he's the leading man in my opinion. I think you can have him lead a group, and it would be fun. And plus, he was all of the secret mystic stuff that basically no one else in the MCU has any knowledge of, outside of like Wong and uh, Baron Mordo, who's a villain. So yeah, um, it does look like they have their army of wizards back. I don't think he's going to just be leading them though. Um, yeah. 
So do you have any thoughts on uh, Doctor Strange being potentially? See, that it feels like right now they all kind of group to him as a leader. So I think there's a good chance it, if the leader's not Captain Marvel a, in terms of like the mystique aspect, I think it already feels like Doctor uh-huh. Strange's already kind of taken taking control in a way. Like, it, it, nice X Men pun. Yeah, and um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I think Doctor Strange is someone who's very intriguing to me. We we know he's got the uh, the next solo film, or you know, we know he's got a, another. A sequel. It's slated. They they have an idea of a, of a yeah. Doctor Strange too. It's been it's been talked about. Yeah, the word I was looking for there was sequel, and uh, yeah. I'm I'm good with if I had to pick two right now, like two people who I want to run this thing going forward, it would be those two, Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, because both both of them offer a unique perspective that no one else has in the MCU. Captain Marvel knows all the cosmic threats. Doctor Strange knows some of them, but he knows the mystical threats. Yeah, and they've both been training for roughly. Well, he's been training for like a couple of years. She's been training for like twenty to fight what's out there. So, I mean, she's a badass. She's got more experience, although I would argue he's got more authority. So, not that that's going to matter to her. I'm just saying, like, if you looked at like who's got the most power, his spells could at least contain her. I don't know that he could win in a fight, but he could at least contain her at like mid level power before she hits binary strength. Um. And that's another thing, too. I don't think it matters who's the strongest being the leader, because for years, if you think about it, the leader was Captain America, who arguably has the least powers of anybody outside of, like, Hawkeye and, and Scarlet, or not Scarlet Witch, um, uh, Black Widow. But, like, yeah, I mean, arguably, like, the least extra abilities Yeah, uh, outside of that first couple of movies. And so you wonder why he's the leader, but it's because they all turn to him. That's why I think Strange, because Strange isn't the strongest guy. But he's got enough powers that he could compete with a lot of them. And it's almost as if he was made for that role. Like when you look at other times in Marvel universes where there's been big threats, there's been times when Doctor Strange stepped up and said, I'm just going to lead everybody in this fight. Um, And I think that's what happens in 2015 Secret Wars. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, So... Really, to me, I don't. I don't think I would care either way. I would love both. Um, that aside, I'm I'm over nerding over here. Uh, you know, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe and click the little bell so you know when we go live. Also, when we upload a video uh, like this, and uh, we'll see you all later.